We're here on Madison HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association with head men's tennis coach Steve Secord. Coach, it's been a couple weeks since we've been able to catch up. We'll start off with the Duke's last win, which was at George Mason, right. and I heard you had several alumni in attendance. Yeah, it was great. We played up at a country club up there that they set this up, and uh, yeah, we had uh, 12, 15 players and then some parents and um and it, so it was a great great atmosphere great great uh great win and uh so yeah it was a good match so, um still trying to figure out the doubles a little bit um give george mason credit they came out and played really well um we were kind of flat uh, our number one team played pretty well two and three not so much um you know so that was frustrating losing that um but i felt like the guys responded pretty well um in the singles and and were able to pull the w out and uh a lot of a lot of good tight matches and uh you know in that type of atmosphere where there was a lot of people I think the guys like like competing that way and um you know so just yeah like happy to get the win over the the former CAA <laughs> opponent and uh yeah so it was a good good match did you feel like there was a certain turning point in that match that really gave JMU the momentum yeah I mean it, it, I mean they were cl it, everything was close a lot of them um probably Brett his his uh, pulling that third set <laughs> tiebreaker was kind of tight he didn't he didn't start off great um in the singles and um you know I've been been on him about a couple things he's got the ability to to take some people out and um, sometimes just gets gets balls back in play and and so you know that's one of those things that you know having getting him to have the confidence to trust himself and and just hit out at times is is big but no it was great I was I was happy for him that he was able to pull that that tiebreaker out because looking at where everybody was with the other matches Milian was still in the first set um, you know and it was relatively close and so you didn't know where he was going to be Stephen was down um, you know it could could in, and we keep preaching to the guys that that's you know we we lose to somebody 5-2 it easily could have been like navy you know mm -hmm. could have been 5-2 our way 4-3 our way and um you know trying to you know get them to dig down and and, and embrace mm -hmm. that that battle at those mm -hmm. moments and um and and Brett was able to do that and come up with the W so that was great Coming off the win, you come back home. Mm -hmm. Several snowstorms right. and inclement weather yeah. systems rolled through the valley before you headed up north to take on number 27 Penn State. Yeah. What was the week like for you guys, and how did you feel that the team responded getting ready for the knee line at Lions? Yeah, I mean, it's it was a weird week. We had some days that we weren't able to get to, to the courts to hit. Um, you know, so you just try to make the most of the days that you do get there, trying to work on, you know, everybody kind of knows – um, what they gotta, you know, prepare for, what they need to work on, and 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 their strengths, not to, you know, forget about working on those things too. So, you know, did our best. Um, you know, Penn State's a great, great team. They they were in national indoors. They qualified this year. Very well coached. Um, you know, so it's one of those kind of like Virginia Tech. You don't have anything to lose. Trying to elevate the level of our game. Um, very good doubles team. Um, we're still switching some things around. Um, we I saw some good, good bright things. We got uh, Alex uh, Burdnikoff in in the doubles, and um, he 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 looked really good. They, they I mean they lost, but you know so you know that's another possibility of a of a combination. And so we're still you know working and tweaking um, the doubles teams because you know as we move on in these conference matches, that's mm -hmm. it's going to be important. And uh, but then in the singles. Um, you know that we had you know some people competed and and really you know Sebastian had a great week of practice when we were there and really positive working hard and and he beat a really good guy um you know in straight sets which is not easy their coach even said it's it, that kid's not an easy out for you know he's a warrior and um so I was I was happy with that you know that he put the hard work in and and was able to to get the result and you know hopefully build with his confidence on that um you know, and, and Brett as well, you know, he's, like I said, he stepped up and was, was hitting the ball pretty well, um, beat a, you know, a solid kid, and, uh, you know, I think they hopefully can keep the confidence going, um, and, and, and it's just trying to get them to understand if we're going to beat some of these teams that we need every person, you know, competing at the, at the top of their ability um, you know, to get four points. Um, so, and I think everybody went at it hard, but there's a couple that, you know, I think can still elevate their games to get it to where we have all three doubles teams, all six singles players out there, um, you know, going to the top of their ability. So 
Well, believe it or not, you're only about a month and a half away from CAA championships. You're about halfway through the spring. Mm -hmm. Weather might not say so much, but <laughs> sure. halfway through the spring and this weekend, it's time to get back to conference play and right. you'll take on William & Mary. Traditionally, a very good team. What are you expecting this weekend? Yeah, I mean, uh, this year's no exception. They're, they're a solid team playing at their place indoors is always, you know, uh, an advantage for them a little bit, that, you know. Um, but the guys embrace that. They know that they, you know, have to need, need to take some of these teams out to, to get a decent seating. We want to be in that top four, and uh, this is the first opportunity to, to do that. So, um, you know, we'll we'll work on the doubles a little bit. You know, the singles, I think we're, we're getting there. We're competing harder. But, um, you know, we're looking forward to to going down and getting it on with the tribe. So <laughs> we'll, you know, see what happens. Well, Coach, we wish you good luck as you get back to conference play this weekend, taking on William and Mary. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks.